Hello everyone, Anna Bakshiva here, and today I'm going to talk about left hand preparation, uh, setup, and left hand exercises for beginners and maybe intermediate students who want to review uh, all the correct by the book, by the method, uh, what professional violin players all aware and have to remember throughout their life. Sometimes we all need to go back to basics and kind of uh, make sure we are doing all the little details in the best possible way, in the most uh, uh, um, up-to-date or according to the traditional method, what works. Uh, and review and go back and uh, make sure we all doing this uh, little things and, and no bad habits are developing in our playing. So the left hand goal is to be free and be precise and play the notes. If we don't uh, use our left hand, of course our playing will sound like this. Only open strings. So we need to play with our left hand to make different notes. So it's a very tricky uh, uh, thing because we don't have any frets on a violin. And this brings uh, the problem of ear training, of course. Left hand and ears have to be completely united connected and uh, very precise always trying to play in tune that's our main goal and main concern for all the string violin players we always have to be asking ourselves am i in tune am i playing right in the center of the note and the uh, 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 the beginning of this intonation problem always has to do with the correct setup. Setup of the whole hand and movement, correct, precise, and the best concise, not wasteful movement. The uh, uh, best movement feels right and sounds right. That's what all my teachers always said. So to make a, a long story short, I will go over preparation activities for the left hand beginner students and maybe even intermediate students to review and kind of uh, 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 go back to little bit of basics. So our goal is to be free, to be precise, to play running notes all over the fingerboard. We press on the string and make string shorter the further we go, the more pressure string needs to to sound, to produce good sound because the string it becomes very short and it has difficult, uh, uh, difficulty vibrating the higher we go. That's why in the first position we can just have a relaxed pressure on the fingers and the higher we go, the pressure has to be harder. So our arm has to back up fingers in the most uh, supportive and smart way. Our fingers are not there by them themselves. The arm is behind every movement, behind every uh, uh, string repositioning of the fingers. In fact, we don't change strings with just fingers like that. We try to change string with our elbow, with our arm relocating that is one of the things i'm going to talk about so uh, we will begin our preparation work with the arm movement i want you to hold violin or put it somewhere and not have it in your hands and just have your left arm right here in front of you a little bit on the angle not right in the center but a little bit on the angle uh, imagine you having your violin in your hand and start by ensuring that your wrist is not bendy and weak and kind of in this uh, 
uncomfortable to me because I'm not used to it. I'm used to having it flat. The flat position, that's what I want. I want you to find this absolutely straight flat position and feel that you're not bending your wrist. Move it back and forth, up and down like this and make sure it's a little bit unbendable, a little bit uh, 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 muscle control there, not allowing you any uh, sideways bending. So once you found this unbendable position, I want your elbow to go forward and go back to have this arm twisting kind of motion. Elbow comes right in front of your chest, out like this and back to near your body, near your ribs. Out in front and back. So I want you or your child to have 10 of this elbow out and back, elbow forward and back, okay? So we are all aware of this elbow work is going to be very useful in our violin playing because four position of the strings will require constant involvement of the whole arm like that. So G string, we bring our arm completely out like this. We can see our whole elbow in front of us like this. Uh, violin will be right here and I can see the whole elbow, even the space before the elbow right here. For the D string, I will relax it a little bit and elbow is showing, but not as much. A string, I can see a little bit of arm. E string, I will not see any of my elbow area. It will be under the violin. So we have four angles of the string, of the, for, for each string of the elbow. E string, A, D, and G. Back to E, A, D, and G. Now I want you to uh, practice different strings. G, D. E, G, A, D, G, E, 